And assume for a moment that there is a God whom you have sinned against. And as a result, you deserve separation from this God forever. That this God loves you so much that he sent his son to die on a cross to pay the price for your sins. He rose from the grave, not just in victory over sin, but victory over death itself. So that if you would turn from your sin and trust in Jesus and God's love for you in Christ, you would be restored to God forever. Eternal, saved from eternal damnation in hell to experience eternal life now and forever in heaven. Now I realize for some that's a big step, but just for a second assume that's true. If that's the case, then if that's true, certainly you don't want people who are gathering together every Sunday to sing about that and then when they get around you they say nothing. That would be the epitome of hate, wouldn't it be? Like for them to tell you nothing about that? No, if this is true, you would want people. It would be the epitome of love for them to share that with you. And so, so hear that perspective. I, pr- I pray that maybe even tonight that God's grace which brought you here might lead you to embrace this truth, to see this truth, even in what we are talking about.